Hey, getting ready for the new year. What y'all doing? It's about to be 2020. I'm just popping on to say hi, give y'all a little message before um, I get ready for the in-home festivities. So, how are y'all? I know a lot of y'all are probably getting ready to go out. Y'all probably see this tomorrow or the next day. Oh, hey, some people. Hey. Happy New Year almost. So I just want to pop on real quick and give a little quick message and then I'm out. Because I promised um, that I was going to go live today from my other channel, my uh, my beauty channel. So I didn't want to uh, start the year off like that. So I'm back. By the way, if y'all like this look, I have this look and this tutorial on my beauty and haul YouTube, Ashira Star. Y'all go subscribe. Um, Ashira Star, I'll type it in. That's my beauty page. Uh, there you go. Okay. So, Happy New Year's, everybody. So, we're going to say, Are you too? What was the name of this video? <laughs> Do you care too much? Yeah. Um, talk to a lot of ladies every time I do consultations. I noticed that women care too much about other people who don't care about them. So I wanted to kind of focus on that just for a second. Um, if someone doesn't care as much about you, then you do not return the favor to them. Okay. That is some advice for you in 2020. If someone does not have the common courtesy to call you, oh, thank you, Carrie, to, um, Happy New Year, sprinkle, sprinkle, to call you, to uh, follow through on their word, to put you as a priority, A, B, C, and D. You don't do the same for them. So stop making other people more important than you. Stop treating people better. Stop it if they don't treat you the same. Thank you, Miss Jessica Jones, sprinkle, sprinkle. So every time I do a consultation, I notice that the women are overly concerned about someone's feelings, someone's, uh, you know, uh, inconvenience, someone's that, 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 when those people do not care about your inconvenience, your issue, they just don't. So why do we? And that's my question. That's the question you need to ask. Stop doing that. Okay. Thank you, Lydia. Ooh, somebody bought you a phone on the first date. Uh Okay, good. That's awesome. Uh, lease to rent, not buy a car. More beneficial because he owns a company. What to do now? He owed up. Um, I mean, keep your car too. And just drive that other one until the lease is up, I guess. I don't know. Uh, sprinkle, sprinkle. Happy New Year. Thank you, Toy Soldier. You deserve it still. Thank you, girl. Happy New Year. Oh, sprinkle, sprinkle, everybody. So, yeah. We're not giving anyone the same amount of concern anymore if they don't give it to us, okay? You don't do that ever. Because what you're telling them in a roundabout way is that they are more important than you are. And you know that's not true, okay? We know that's not going to be true. So don't let your actions show that. You might say things. You may you know, plan things, but your actions speak louder than your words. So pay attention to what you're doing. Thanks for the live tonight. Keep it, keep me company. Hey girl, Tashi. So yay. So Cecilia, I'm your best discovery in 2019. Girl, thank you, girl. So uh, what I mean is we don't need to be overly concerned about what other people are doing or other people's feelings if they don't have the same common courtesy for us, okay? We don't need to worry about if something is going to inconvenience them if they don't worry about the same for us. Mm -hmm. So stop doing that. People are overly concerned about other people and um, it needs to stop because it doesn't benefit you whatsoever. Okay, so um, it's, it's a feminine nurturing, uh, thing that women have naturally, but you have to cut it off unless it's your children. Okay. Unless that's your children, you have to cut that off. 
You cannot be overly concerned. Well, if I leave, how he's going to pay the rent? Or if I leave, well, my kid going to have to switch schools. Okay. And how many times you done switch schools? <laughs> okay. They'll get over it. They'll make new friends. They're resilient. Also, like, oh, well, I don't know. And da, 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 da. What if, you know, what if they get mad? Oh, good. They're supposed to get mad. You know, they're not supposed to be happy and celebrating. So, you know, oh, what, what, what if they, uh, you know, what if they can't get over me? <laughs> Believe me, they already over you. If you asking that question. So, especially, yeah. So we can't care about what they're going to do with their lives after we're out of it. You know, especially if you're trying to break up with someone. You, we can't care about their lives after we're out of it. Because that's the whole reason we're leaving, to be out of it. Okay? So, stop doing that. Um, stop keeping in contact with your exes unless they owe you money or child support. Otherwise, they should be blocked and deleted unless they're paying these bills. Okay? Thank you, XOXO, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Unless they're paying these bills, blocked and deleted. You don't, You should not even be talking to your ex if they're not benefiting you. Okay? Block and delete. <laughs> so, you know, we need to stop caring about overly concerned about so many things that, um, you know... Half of y'all, y'all's boyfriend, husbands, and, uh, you know, who hit it and quit it don't even know your birthday. Don't even know your last name. They don't even know where you grew up. They don't know any of these things, but you claiming them and treating them special and being overly concerned about their well-being. But they don't know your birthday. They don't know your sign. They don't know your favorite color but you sitting up there worried about them. Okay. We got to stop that. <laughs> okay. You over here chasing your baby daddy because he don't want to spend time with your kids and ABC and D, but they don't even know your they own kids birthday, the favorite cartoon that they watch and their favorite cereal or whatever, but y'all steady worried about them. Mm -mm. So y'all have to stop that. And, you know, uh, same with friends. Like if you have a friend or a coworker or someone that you're trying to impress and they're not trying to impress you, you're wasting time. If they're not concerned about you, you're wasting your time. They don't see you. Um, thank you. Someone says it's great. Yes, I did this tutorial on my beauty channel earlier. Mm hmm. How to change a coffee date to a dinner date. I don't know if same things attract him since he's 24 years old, but he's rich. Please let me know. Girl. Twenty-four means he has plenty options, baby. That means he could take you to coffee, her to coffee, her to coffee, her to a walk in the park, and they'll still go because he's rich. Um, you should have turned down that date in the first place and you should have said, oh, I thought you liked me. I've heard someone say that, um, in the comments, you know, oh, I thought you liked me as it's, as if that coffee date is an insult, but in a joking way, you know, uh, 24 year old is not going to take you shopping. Ain't going to pay them bills. Okay. They are just going to floss their money to get what they want. So waste of time for me. Um, these women need to repent and ask the Lord for forgiveness. Yes, they do. Please, Lord, forgive these men for being broke and not providing and protecting us women. We repent that we gave them a chance when they did not deserve one. Amen. Thank you, Regaza. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If you already care, how do you stop? Thank you, Regazza. That's a good question because no one ever asks, how do you stop caring? Um, focus your care on yourself. Turn all that extra energy, money, concern about yourself. Where will you be in five years? You know, what are you going to have in your bank account in five years? Who's going to be loving you in five years? Are you going to be where you want to be in five years? 
turn it around and put it back into yourself. That's what you do, or put it into your children. Don't give it to somebody who does not deserve it. And you can stop caring by staying busy and replacing that person with something else that is self-serving or benefiting you and your kids. Okay. So you don't have time to even think about them. Thank you, serve, support, celebrate. I used to care too much. I'm quickly learning to care less. No dusties ever again. Thank you so much for showing me how to level up. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Level 11, girl. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Scorpio life. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Happy New Year. So, yo, know, um, you just got a back. That's not your child. Especially if y'all ain't married. Why, why are you giving that much energy to someone who haven't even taken you off the market yet? Okay. Do I believe in revenge? I believe that leveling up and replacing someone with someone way better is the ultimate revenge. Okay. <laughs> um, but what if that coworker only wants to talk at work? Should I discard? That's your work friend then, okay? That means after outside of work, no, no. You know. <laughs> outside of work, no, no. You can't take your work friends home. They might not they might not want to be friends with you, but they don't have a choice at work because that's, there's only a few people around. So you're the best option. You know what I'm saying? Um He told me not to ask him for money anymore. How can I reverse this? Don't ask him for no money. And don't let have him asking you for nothing else either. Okay, tell him don't ask you for nothing either. Thank you, Carrie. Carrie, sprinkle, sprinkle. Can I pull off telling a man I'm 26, I'm 39? I mean, 28. If you look, if you look 28, ask two kids. Ask two older children how old you look. That's your age. Okay. How? Because, you know, kids are honest. How much money should I get before moving with him? Enough to be able to move out, not work, and maybe start your own business or do whatever you want to do. But enough to do you. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. so, you know, so glad I discovered this channel at 18. Yes, you done saved your own life. You you will, sorry, I don't need, need to be tapping on that. You will bypass so many issues. So I'm happy to. Um. Yes. Thank you. I, I appreciate the compliment. Um, Shira, I think Solo wants you, but he can't afford you. <laughs> yeah, so silly. Um, advice on how to deal with fake coworkers. Y'all keep asking about these coworkers. Look, when I go to work, if I had a job, when I had a job, I'm in and I'm out. I'm in and I'm out. I don't care about them coworkers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I go to work so I can get off. You see? Um, because I hate work. So I'm online. I'm on my phone. I'm not even bothering people. Bothering with people unless they buy me lunch. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how you got to be. Thank you, Tamika. Just was watching your pretty pink video. Been seriously leveling up my, up, living up myself since watching your videos. My husband has been following suit. Enjoy your work. Oh, that's good. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Happy New Year. Um, I'm not going out. I'm staying in. I don't, I don't go out on New Year's. Mm -hmm. I used to when I was younger, but. You know, when you get old, it's like, I've already been seen. Um, plus, my kids want to bring in the new year with me. Yeah, I'm watching TV for the countdown. Got me some sparkling grape juice. And some vegan oh. pot stickers I'm going to make. Mm -hmm. um, mm. 
y'all are staying home too some of y'all going out good for y'all well anyway how to stop caring so much is to care about something more and something that is most beneficial to you so I find that when people, especially women, start doing something that is self-focused, like a business or leveling up or, you know, some type of goal for themselves, they tend not to care too much or overly concerned about other people. The only time people are really overly concerned about others is when they're not focused on themselves or improving themselves. So they have to focus on someone else, you know. Hey, don't close it. I mean, not close it. Um... Muse. Hi, Shira. Is a pick me behavior to bring customers to a man's business? Yep. If he can't bring his own customers, what? That, you know, what? What about? No. I'm not going to be no walking free advertisement. How much you paying you? You got a discount code with your name on it so you can get that, that conversation. Sprinkle, sprinkle. It is pick me behavior. <clears throat> okay. Nope, I'm helping you, period. You're not helping. Okay, good. See? Hit the like button. Thank you, girl. Thank you, Santa Lick for ASMR. Um, yes, we don't help we don't do none of that. Okay. Now, when we're around them, like if we're around them, we're their date, if we're out and about and some you get introduced. And they say, oh, you know, uh, what does your husband do? Or what does your man do? Oh, he's into such and such, you know. And let them ask him questions, okay? Let him do his own work. <laughs> um, do you think rich men like long hair and 23 inches? Yep, I think most men in general like long hair. Um, so... <laughs> What part, no, what do you think of Michaela Pink's videos about finding your soulmate? I didn't watch that one because you all know I don't believe in soulmates. So, um, <laughs> don't know. My soulmate is in the mirror or, it, it, or came out my body. Those are the only soulmates that I know of. Um. <laughs> do you think rich men like oh yeah I already answered that question yeah most men like long hair so yeah I don't I don't really um, talk about soulmates because I don't really get into it mm -hmm. um Soulmates are distractions from yourself. That's like landing your dream job on the first try or the third try. Nothing ever is going to be the dream anything. You have to create it. So, um, I think freestyling tonight is a mistake. Yeah, everybody's going to be coupled up. Uh, thank you, Feminine Goddess. Is 28 inch hair too long? If you if you short it is, if you tall it ain't. You know, if you tall, if you over five nine, I don't think it's too long. It might be a little bit too long, depending on where you're going, and how you're wearing it. If it's curled or super super straight. Um, but if you're really tall, you might can pull it off. Or you got a big a big oblong head. And it's going to take about this many inches off. But I would stick to, I wouldn't go past like 22, honestly, or 24. I would not go past that. It's a little bit too trendy, a.k.a. ghetto. Um, So just cut a couple of inches off. <laughs> Advice on starting online business. Oh, yeah. I was going to actually get into that in 2020 and um, help some of you guys figure out what type of business you want to be in. Uh, first thing is first, get your social media up and popping. You know, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. Get it up and popping because those are going to be your clients. Okay, so y'all can do that until I start my 
you know, focus on helping people do that, but get that social media media up and popping for whatever you're going into business for or can think about going into business for or just period. Okay. Um, do I believe in vision boards? Well, my sister invited me over tomorrow to do vision boards with them as a family, but I have, uh, I do like what I call manifestation journals because I don't want my evil secret evil plans out for the world to see on a board. So I put it in a journal instead. It's the same concept, except it's in a book, a blank book. So I would cut out stuff, write stuff down and put it in the book because I don't need to be knowing my secret evil plans. Thank you, Tashi. If hair is long enough to get stuck in your butt crack, it's too long and it got to go. <laughs> That's right. She ain't wrong. Thank you, uh, Tashi D. <laughs> I like how you think. Okay. Um, freestyling is like going out to be seen and for people to approach. It's just like going out by yourself. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we're not going to be overly concerned and caring too much in 2020 when that person doesn't even know your last name. Okay. I have seen so many pick me women. Bend over backwards, buying someone they met two weeks ago expensive gifts and calling him and texting him every day and, and asking me, oh, he hasn't called me and texted me back in two days. I'm like, you went on a date. You've known him a week or two weeks. What are you doing? You know, but I'm worried about him, girl. He ain't worried about you. Believe me. So we need to stop all of that. <laughs> um. You got passed over for a promotion. You feel like crap, girl. You should be you should be giving yourself a promotion and leveling up so you don't have to work there anymore. Ali Bay, they promoted themselves up to the next level. Okay, mm -hmm. just think about that. Y'all over here worried about a a promotion when you need to be promoting yourselves. Mm-hmm. You got pregnant by a 49-year-old man, and I'm just turning 20. Oh, I hope you got money, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Hope you got some money. Happy New Year. <laughs> um, Are we back? Okay. Sorry. Whenever somebody comes in and out, my, especially when I'm downstairs, it just messes up stuff. Um, yeah. Get your green card. Oh. That's funny. Anyway, I bet you I could get one if I needed one, though. Anyway, hey, hey. I didn't help 20, 20 people get their green cards. How you doing? Via consultation. How to date multiple potentials without them finding out if you live with one of them. Don't tell them where you live. Tell them you like town. Tell them you live far away. Tell them you live with your mama. You tell them you live with your sister. You know. Tell them you got a roommate that don't like certain type of people. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, how to get over laziness. Get up and drink some coffee. Wake up early, set your alarm clock every day, set alarms to be doing stuff. Uh, oh, my hear that my allergy. Set alarms to remind you to do stuff. And whether you're lazy or not, you got to get up and do it. Shira, is it good to make him want you really bad and then ghost him for two days? Um, I mean, it depends on how old he is. Some some people aren't that childish. They'll just go get another one, especially if they have money and options. Or, you know, um. It could work, but either way, remember, they always got options. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm. Is it freezing? Hold on. Let me go close my door and see if that improves it. Hold on. <coughs> that better? I'm back. Okay. Um. 
mm, 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 mm. wealthy men aren't really going for the boring chicks anymore. Short nails, short hair is no longer sexy. That's because that's what they got at home, baby. That's that's the wife look. So yes, the so you gotta catch them looking extra, and then you gotta tone it down once you got the paper and the green. Just a little bit, because you know you can't be walking around, you know, uh, Whole Foods looking like this. Hi, <laughs> thank you, Aya. In a past video, you said never let a man put it on you for, and for us to be the one to pull it on them, put it on them. But then I've also heard that it's not supposed to be the aggressor. What do you think? That means don't be off. Like that's that's so good. Don't don't say nothing if it. If it was this, okay? Act like it was, okay? There you go. <laughs> uh, when I say nursing, they always look like they can't, they can get something out of it. Then don't say it, say receptionist. Can't get nothing out of that, but an appointment. <laughs> okay. Um, how would you advise getting a sugar daddy to pay your college tuition without lying about scenarios over and over and over? Just tell them you need you need somebody to help you pay your college tuition or you have to drop out and cry. And if they don't help you, then on to the next one. Okay. I'm read, reading your book right now. And as we speak, I support you. Girl. Thank you. Uh, meet me. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I appreciate you getting my book. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, just lie to him. Well, okay, y'all are talking to each other. Yeah, my Wi-Fi need to level up. It's only when I'm downstairs, y'all. When I'm up in my office, I'm good. When I'm downstairs, because this, like, the way the house is created, the um, the way the house is created, this room is like weird. It's always it's like shut off. It's cold. It's like it's just far away from everything. <laughs> So the, the signal is bad in here. I'm so sorry. But I, I guess I should have went upstairs. This is supposed to be short. That's the only reason I went live. So I should just go ahead and hurry up and get up off, off of here and go celebrate New Year's. Um, but thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate it. I don't want to stay down here with the bad Wi-Fi. And um, oh, I'm still clear to some people. Oh, okay. Thank you. If you like my makeup look, I did this look. On this tutorial on my uh, beauty channel, Ashira Star. <gasps> Rainbow Goddess. Oh my gosh. Sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. She didn't drop nine, 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 nine on me, girl. Hey, thank you. Your advice in 2019 was my level up year and I met, a, met a, a wealthy man. 2020 might be putting a ring on it. Ooh, your advice is the truth. Love you, girl. Congratulations. Happy New Year. I am so glad that you, you met your man, your wealthy man. And thank you so much for that beautiful gift and donation. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Ooh, that was very nice of you. Yes, uh, I love it when uh, y'all yeah, sprinkle, sprinkle me too. <laughs> but um, yeah, see, that 19, 2019 was her year. 2020 could be y'all's year. Hey, she just put the advice to work. Okay. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, happy New Year, y'all. You are changed our lives. You changed our lives. I, I be trying to help. <laughs> I try to help. Is Happy New Year from the UK in London? Okay, Sammy, Happy New Year to you too. I still have a few hours until our New Year. Um. Mm -hmm. I, I love y'all too. Thank you, Bella. Girl. Bella Lou, thank you. Um, year of the come up. Yes, yes, yes. So, you know, every any year can be your come up year. Any year, any year that you choose can be that come up year. So just come on up to the next level. Hey. Um just just work on it. <laughs> and stop being overly concerned about things that aren't for your up, up rise or benefit. 
If, it, if it's not about you getting to a higher place, don't worry about it. Like, don't be overly concerned with it. Don't put your effort into it if it's not getting you anywhere. You know, stop worrying about people that don't worry about you. You know, oh, I got to call this, this person. I got to wish this person a happy birthday or Christmas and they don't even remember your name. Oh, I got to do this. Oh, I got to take them for, uh, I got to drive them here. And then like when you need a favor, they're nowhere to be found. That means leave them alone. Okay. If, if you have somebody in your life that's nowhere to be found when you need help, they're not supposed to be there. Goodbye. Okay. And then when they need help, you run, you there before they finish the sentence. Mm -mm. Those people need to go. Basically, you're begging, th begging them to be in your life. That's all you're doing. You're begging them to be in your life. And a favor, when they ask you for a favor, they feel like they're doing you a favor by asking you to do them a favor. Okay? Think about it. If you're so anxious and jump up, pop up to help people that don't even care about you, they're actually doing you a favor when they ask you to do something for them. Okay? Let that sit sit and marinate okay um so <laughs> mm -hmm. thank you l if your husband provides but doesn't give you anything extra what should you do either start your own business or get you a sugar daddy or do both or um tell you go on grocery shop and get his credit card and get that cash back Okay. <laughs> um, those are your options. Repeat again. Start your own business, get you a sugar daddy or both, or get his credit card to go grocery shopping, hit that cash app, I mean cash back button. There you go. Um, Shira, how does your glitter shadow stay put? Because I have a special palette that I sell on my level up. It's my um, I bring nothing to the table eyeshadow palette. And it has a special glitter shadow in there that stays put. So y'all check it out. Mm -hmm. Um, a Dusty asked you to come to his house before going out. I hope you don't go, baby. Um, Happy New Year. I listen to this woman every word, and I'm not even after the bag. Just self-love at the moment and value. Thank you, Shira. Oh, thank you, girl. Yeah. Um, was excited to glow up and level up all 2020. Oh, who's excited? Yeah. I'm going to glow up some more. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. I'm going to get better. Mm-hmm. Wait for 2021. I'm going to be looking at this screen and be like, ooh, I look bad. It's like I'm looking at from last year saying I look bad and the year before that, oh, I look terrible. I'm keep I'm gonna keep going up too. I'm gonna keep leveling up too. So <laughs> not ever gonna stop. Okay. <laughs> so in fact, I got me like this little journal to keep track of what I eat. And I've been writing down my food and the calories and all that kind of stuff. So I know that it's going to go down for sure. If the numbers add up correctly, then it is a guarantee. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Thank you. Um, I can't pronounce this name. Khan Yassel. Khan Yassel. I met a man who recently bought a mansion. He invited me to his house, a warming party, and... Bring my friend. Should I go? Sure. If there's no other cars in the parking lot, don't go. Okay. You don't see a bunch of people there. Turn back around. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Happy New Year. <clears throat> Still, you know, be safe. Bring a bring a, a a big friend. Bring a big friend for your backup. Okay. And a stun gun and some mace. How, how, how you doing? Mm -hmm. 
Where did I get my hair? Girl, I got this hair from ywigs.com. Links are in the description box. You can use my discount code too. The discount code is down there too. Thank you, Style Goals Harmony. Happy New Year, Shira and everyone from Taiwan. Oh, it's New Year's. It's 10 a.m. there, January 1st. Okay, well, we still haven't celebrated New Year's, but Happy New Year. 2020 over there already, girl. You in the future. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. Um, How to care less. Care about something else more. Yourself, your goals, your business, your level up. You take that energy and put it over here, then that's how you care less. And ask them for a favor. You know, That's how you test it. If you care too much about somebody and what they're doing and how they're feeling, if they're happy or not, then ask them to do something for you and watch how quick you change your mind. Okay? And test people this year. I should have named it, that video too. Test people this year. Test people in your life and see if they still need to be there. Thank you, Rochelle. Can plus-size women successfully level up? Yes. They sure can. Go watch my videos from two years ago. One year ago. We sure can. Okay. Um, thank you, Alicio. One of your male fans. Oh, hey. Okay. How, how do you deal with family that makes you emotional and want to get a reaction out of you and take you for granted? Mom says, I don't respond to them. I, I Okay. So. If you don't want, if, if people are trying to trigger you, you just you just know that they're trying to trigger you. And so you say, okay, you're right. It, they cannot argue with you if you agree with them. You have to flip it on them. y'all. I don't know if you were here earlier when somebody said, I need to pray to the Lord and repent. I, I flipped it on. I said, dear Lord, please help these men become better providers and protectors. So... You know, da, 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 you know. <laughs> so flip it on. It's like, you're right. You know, I need to do much better. I really do. I need to really. In fact, I'm going to go start right now <laughs> so you can exit and go do your thing, you know. Um, and then they can't really say anything because you're agreeing with them. And even though you're being sarcastic, they can't say nothing. Okay. So just tell them they're right. You're, you are, you are so right. I need to go work on that right now. I'm going to go do some thinking. Oop. That means I need some silence and I'm going to go do some thinking on my own. Thank you for, thank you for reminding me. Then what, what, they, what can they do? They're going to be like, oh, well, okay. Thank you, GNA. We fight about him not taking me out when my friends and their providers are out every weekend. I keep messing up with the money game. How do I not care? Girl, go out by yourself, baby. Go get you some single friends because you're single. And if he don't want to go out, he can't stop you. Why don't you go out? Go. Why don't you go out? Go out by yourself. Say, well, I need to go out. I'm getting anxiety. You know, my mom, bring people into it that he's scared of. My mom says that I need to get out more. I can't stay stuck in the house just because you want to stay stuck in the house. Girl, just blame it on somebody. It don't matter. But get out and go out by yourself. Go out with single friends. Be the third wheel. It don't matter. You know, if that's where you want to go. They're, they're doing fireworks out there. But yeah, be be the third wheel if you have to and then go, you know, or go out by yourself. Mm-hmm. When you stop caring, is this we used to, yeah. When you stop caring, that's when they start caring. Okay. Get up and get dressed and take yourself out. Here you go. And then he see how good you look, and he might want to get up and go somewhere with you next time. Lead by example. Fireworks or gunshots? <laughs> no, ain't no gunshots over here. Um, Do I think a younger man could ever see an older woman as the prize? Um, if she is very beautiful and like Nick Cannon and Mariah Carey, he thought she was the prize until she started being his mama and telling him what to do. So it's possible. 
if you don't try to be their mom. Okay? Let him be a man. It's possible if, if they if they got money and you don't try to be their mama. Mm-hmm. So, right. And do you know why? Okay, think about this. I'm going to give y'all one more thing before I go. Most women are overly concerned with dusties more than overly concerned with a man with money. I'm going to tell you why. Because that feminine motherly instinct kicks in because they don't have a lot and you worry about them like a child. If a man got money, you don't worry about him. You mad. You trying to find out how you can get revenge and how you can steal him back or how you can get him for more money. You're not worried about his well-being. You only worried about that dusty well-being because the the only reason you're attracted to him is because you have a um, maternal instinct to care for the uh the lacking and the wounded okay so you don't feel like that when you break up with somebody who has money you don't feel worried about somebody you actually mad only reason you feel bad for leaving a dusty is because you think they need you like they need a mother so yeah i gotta stop that okay so i'm 22 and pretty but i only wear box braids i'm in college and i cannot afford to buy and maintain good extensions what do i do get you a wig baby sprinkle sprinkle wig you can afford one wig get you a good human hair wig and what stop opening and closing the door baby get you a good human hair wig and make it work you know you can wash it style it and do whatever you need to do sprinkle sprinkle <laughs> Um, I'm considered obese by the weight chart, but I'm not. If you, if you are obese on the weight chart, then, um, then lose 10 pounds and see if you're still obese. You know, if, if you on the, if you on the verge of being obese to lose 10 pounds and see if you're still obese on the, on the list. If you, if you, if there's a 10 pound difference and you have curves then you're good. But if it's not, if it's more than 10 pounds, then maybe you want to lose the 10 pounds and be right on the verge <laughs> so that, you know. I don't want to go to the party with my provider tonight. He is fine with me not going. Should I be worried? Happy New Year, goddess. Sprinkle, sprinkle, send me at the book. Um... Loneliest night of the year for some people, baby. Don't you know they kiss at midnight? You're going to kiss somebody. You better get your butt up or make him stay home. Get your butt up. Did I miss a super chat? Hold on. Okay. Um, I think I got Samantha. Let me go back up. Thank you, uh, BM Francois. Okay, so um, Happy New Year. He almost got the box from me tonight and only provided a little. She where you need to sell chastity bills. I can't take it, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle, girl, they pop the flower. Please, um, please control yourself. Please control yourself because that, to me, is too much, it's too weak. Okay, weakness. Weakness. Slap yourself. I'll start over. <gasps> Kenneth, thank you. Happy New Year. Blessings in 220 for everyone. I wish everyone a happy and prosperous New Year. Oh, thank you. Prosperous New Year to you too. Um, sprinkle, sprinkle. Ooh, I've been sprinkled for real tonight. Thank you. Um, <laughs> shoot. Yay, that, that made my 2019. Okay. Um, blessings and prosperity for all. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. All the pretty fake leveled up woman saying no braids, no natural 
hair have clearly never entered upper class society. Black women there wear natural hair and braids. But y'all men at the strip club, y'all men are looking for other type of women. Because believe me, they out there. Just think about it for a second. They out there looking some at something else. Okay. That's fine, yes, for upper society, upper class society, but what they checking for, who they liking on Instagram. You know, um, there is a happy medium. There is a happy medium in there. Thank you, um, K, K Bay, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Thank you for all your wisdom this year. You've gotten me through some dark times. Live, prosper, sprinkle some girl. Thank you. For, I'm, I'm glad I could get you through some dark times because everybody needs somebody. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. Happy New Year. There's a happy medium. There really is. Uh, yep. Because as soon as somebody walks by that has the fake leveled up look, and your man eyeballs go like this, you're going to be mad. Hold on a second. <sighs> I have to close that door. Thank you, Christina. I just joined the conversation. How do I stop caring for Dusty's? I'm a pretty, you very pretty, dress well, have a career, no kids, and 31. I need help in this area. I get attached because I, of my upbringing. If they're not doing just as much for you or what you want them to be doing, then you don't even start to care. Baby. Don't even start to care unless they can care for you, unless they can pay them bills, unless they can give you a nice gift, unless they can provide and protect. You don't even need to be caring. That's not your child. Okay. The only way a man is supposed to be cared for is if he's caring for you first. Okay, why are you why are you so eager and first to care? Why you don't allow him the time to do that for you instead? So, if he's not caring first, then you don't ever start. It's like okay, mm -hmm. yeah, okay, fine. You know, nonchalant. Thank you, Abosity. I hope I'm saying your name right. I I, I hate trying to pronounce people's names, and I know it's wrong. Abosity. Sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. Happy New Year. You got the little sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. You seen a video of some chick saying that she took my advice and slept stupid with a rich man all year for nothing. <laughs> See, she was thirsty. I've never heard you say that. If she was still working and paying her own bills, she shouldn't have been doing none of that. Okay. And she, maybe she didn't listen to the whole video. Maybe she clicked on for five minutes and clicked off because you know that's not me saying that type of stuff. <laughs> if he's not caring first, then you start caring. He's going to think less of you and replace that. So true, the peaches for real. If you care more about him than he does about you, guess who's the doormat? Make sure you don't care for a man more than yourself. Exactly. If you already made plans, if you have had tickets to something or something set, a date set, and then something pops up for him and you drop your stuff, you know what that means. That he's more important. <laughs> um, right, right. Well, okay, so the hair thing, do what y'all want to do. Whoever got, who, if you don't work no more and you're getting them bills paid and you natural and braids, you know, great. Um, congratulations. Any, you know, there's always people that can do uh, whatever they put their mind to. So if you still paying them bills, if you still work, if you ain't got the ring yet, if you, you know, then maybe try something else. But a lot of the women that have gotten the results, have taken the advice. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you, Shira, for letting us know the real about how men think. You helped me level my dusty in 2019 and realize about him. I feel empowered. Girl, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Happy New Year to Olivia. So, um, mm-hmm. 
Yeah. That's why I don't really argue about the hair anymore. Because if you if you gonna make it work, you're gonna make it work. You're gonna make it do what it do. Okay. I'm just saying, uh, in general, you want it quick, fast, and in a hurry, you want a broad uh spectrum and you want to, to hurry up and get 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 to the bag and without sifting through stuff and hoping this person likes this and hoping this person likes that, just get you a wig and get that money and move on to the next one anyway. You know what I'm saying? It's just faster. Um, <laughs> okay. I, I don't think I'm going to go to my other channel tonight. I'll probably go over there in a couple of days or a day or two, maybe tomorrow. Okay. Um, thank y'all for hitting that like button. So I helped you get rid of your eight year dusty. Ooh, you're welcome. I, you can't lose now for real. That's your that's her name on, on the screen name. Um you're not eating more than fifteen hundred calories a day. How many do y'all eat work out like crazy? I don't I don't even get up to fifteen hundred. Oh my god, there popping fireworks. Um I might get up to thirteen hundred at the most. If I walk around a lot or do a lot of um Activities, then I'll uh, I'll probably eat a little bit more, but mm -mm. if you if you get stuck, you gotta jumpstart your metabolism by exercising or fasting or juicing or something like that, right? Um, I helped you get rid of a nine-year dusty girl. If, if if you've been with a dusty over four to five years, you well overdue. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, the weight thing is a challenge. You need to get you one of these um, food trackers. Oh, shoot. Um, it's a food tracker journal, or you can print some pages out online and track your food, okay? You write down what you ate, how many calories is in there, and the exercise that you did. And you, you have a weight, um, you put your weight up there, and then you... Make sure you don't go past a certain amount of calories. And when you when you start seeing those calories add up, you stop eating. Drink water. You know, choose lighter options when you eat. Don't sit down for a giant meal. Your body is not supposed to have a giant meal if you ain't doing giant strenuous manual labor. Okay, I don't think people tell you this, but if you eating a plate full of carbs, cheese, meat, and you sit down all day. That's not how you're supposed to eat. You know, if you can't work that food off within that day, then you're not supposed to be eating it. <laughs> okay. 120, good for you. You sound like you don't need to lose no weight. <laughs> so unless you're anorexic, uh, I can't help you. Anyway. I thought she got offline and got, hey, Sasha. Hey, can say hi. Happy, happy New Year. Happy New Year. Come say, come say hi, Sasha. Happy New Year. Look at Sasha. <laughs> and a flip through a book. I have food journals from years ago. I have to see what I was eating. Um, When I was losing the most weight. You keep attracting single dads. <laughs> Do you look like a good stepmother? I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry, I had to close my door. You look like a good stepmother. Okay, just stop being a stepmother. Um, mm -hmm. Shira, what's your favorite show out right now? I don't really watch TV. My favorite shows are probably boring to y'all, so. <laughs> um right there's so there's such a thing as being a fat skinny person <laughs> thank you carrie carrie ran to 7-eleven looking a mess seeing an older man in a rose royce i told you carrie i told you don't leave your house because as soon as you leave your house guess what's gonna happen you're going to run into a man with money, a celebrity, your ex-boyfriend with his new girlfriend, and you're going to be looking a hot mess. Stop leaving your house looking crazy. Stop sliding to that corner stove with that bonnet on. 
<laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Happy New Year, though, Carrie. I guess you you to learn your lesson, huh? Uh, see, you could have had that. You could have looked hot. <laughs> Um, what about competition for other women? I don't, I don't compete against other women. If you want me and I'm picking the right target, they ain't going to be checking for that target. I'm like, okay. Cause you know, most women don't know what I know. And so they're going to be competing for dusties over there who look like they got something. Cause they baby mama order, uh, pick me and bought them some new clothes for Christmas. I'm over here on the correct targets. So they're, is no competition when you pick the right target. Okay. Did I miss um uh, you did you you missed an opportunity? Yep. Don't leave, don't even go to whenever I say, oh, somebody asked me, oh, where are you going today? And you all dressed up CVS, running errands. <laughs> okay. Um, look, why are you putting lashes on to go to CVS? Cause I felt like it. <laughs> Why do I wear makeup? Cause I feel like it, and I love wearing makeup. <laughs> What's your favorite part of being a housewife? Not having to go to work, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, that's my favorite part. Not having to get up early and go somewhere on time and be there. Um. It's best to be overly dressed than underdressed. Yeah, because they don't know where you're coming from or where you're going. But if you underdress, they know where you're coming from and where you're going. Nowhere and probably home. Shira, your eye makeup is to die for. Is that my palette? V, yes, it is. This is my I bring nothing to the table palette. I actually did this tutorial today on my um, beauty channel, Ashira Star. So you can go look and see that video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Shira. I started to listen to you this year and you changed my life. Thank you, Claire. I'm glad your life changed for the better. Um, mm -hmm. Dress like you are going to meet the, your enemy today, Coco Chanel. That's how I dress. Well, not every day. But let's, let's say five days out the week, if I run into somebody from my past that I don't like, they're going to be mad, not me. Okay. That's a good quote from Coco Chanel. That's, thank you for that quote. Uh, you have dated four men who were millionaires and you have not worked since 2007. Good for you, girl. Hey, Keisha Mills. Okay. That's how you do that. Um, see? Why don't women love being natural now? Because men don't stay faithful to uh, natural women or provide for them as much as they do or chase women who are not, okay? The men will change that, okay? The men will change that, not the women. Men are attracted to certain things because it's being pushed in the media. So when y'all stop being attracted to that, you'll see more uh, women turn back into uh, natural beauties. So until y'all stop sneaking on Instagram and looking at uh, wigs and makeup on women, and when y'all stop going and giving the attention to those other type of women behind other people's backs or, you know, turning your head, breaking your neck when women walk through, maybe things will change. But for now, we got to get this bag. We ain't worried about natural or unnatural. We're worried about this money. OK, so we know how to get your attention. We know how to keep it. We know how to get them pockets. And so that's what we're going to do. OK, until men change for the better, we got to do what we got to do. Um, and most of the time, women are natural under their wigs. OK, because I know uh, plenty of women that have beautiful hair under their wigs. Natural, beautiful hair under these wigs, baby. OK. Shoot, my hair grew like this much this year from wearing wigs. So. Mm 
When they go home and snatch that wig off, it's natural. Okay. Um, wigs are an ancient art. You are correct. I've done videos talking about that too. Um. Mm hmm. Grab the attention, then grab the bag. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's right. Thank you, Rana. Do I care too much if fear being called opportunist? Yep, you care because you, you're supposed to be an opportunist, which you're supposed to be. What you're supposed to do, let opportunities pass you by. You're supposed to be a watcher. <laughs> you're supposed to stay on the sideline all your life. See, that's a trick. You're supposed to be an opportunist. If you don't, then something is wrong with you. Okay? You see your chance. You see a shot at something. You see how you can make your life better. And you're going to let it pass you by. That's dumb. I don't want to be called an opportunist. So let me stay on the sideline. Mm -mm. I'd rather be called an opportunist than a pygmesia. Okay? Or broke. <laughs> or employed. So call me an opportunist all you want. Call let people call you an opportunist all all that they want. That it's not a bad word. Okay. Thank you, Alicio. I hope I'm saying your name right. There's a very wealthy man that likes me a lot and feels like I'm the one that got away from him since we spoke a long time ago. I haven't spoke to him since because I'm embarrassed. I'm between jobs, not successful yet. What do I do? What do I say? Well, if he has more money than you, you know, maybe you could make him into your sugar daddy. If not, just tell him you're working on, uh, you know, some goals right now. Taking some time off to focus on some goals. I'm writing a book right now. <laughs> That's what they all say, right? Thank you, Greya. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Happy New Year to you and everyone here. Love y'all. Oh, thank you, Greg, girl. I see them lips. I love that lip color. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Happy New Year. And thank you, Alicia. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And Happy New Year again. So, um, yeah. So, here's the one thing. Or here, here are things you need to stop fearing. Being called a gold digger. Being called selfish. Being called an opportunist. Being called selfish again. Being called self-centered, being called a narcissist, you need to stop caring about that because those things are basically people telling you, you don't care enough about me because you're too busy caring about yourself because you put yourself as a priority. So I can't take advantage of you. That's all that they're telling you. You know, I'm uncomfortable with you putting yourself as a priority. That's all that they're telling you. I'm uncomfortable with you benefiting from a relationship with me. Think about this. I'm uncomfortable with you being so confident in yourself. Okay, that's really what they're trying to tell you. So why are you listening? I don't care if you're uncomfortable with me. I get in line, baby. Thank you, Aaron. What should a potential man's minimum salary be? They need to have six figures and up. You know what I'm saying? And be able to provide for tick. If y'all get married and have kids, so well, you don't have to work. I mean, that's the bare minimum. Um so, right. When you don't care, it's lonely. I feel like I don't have friends. Girl, you ain't got no friends if you do care. Okay. You have opportunists, benefiters, and people that um, use you as well. So, when you don't care, and when you do care, you still ain't got no friends. Okay, call that friend in the middle of the night and see if they're going to come help you. See if they got you. See if you can uh, borrow uh, $100 or $200 for, from them. If you can, that's your friend. If you can't, it ain't your friend. Never will be, never was. Okay? So, test people this year. I was t I was telling y'all earlier, test people this year. Even if you don't need no money, see if, they, see if they'll give it to you. If you feel like you're being taken advantage of, ask them for some money. Test your friend. To ask them for a big favor, money, or something. So, because you ain't got no friends anyway, you just think you do until you need them. But if you like thinking you got friends and when you really don't, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Your mama could be your friend, your, your sister can be your friend, 
you know, somebody that's really close to you or that has your back for real. You know, uh, sometimes people in your life um, you take for granted need to be treated better than the people that's uh, treating you bad in real life and you thinking they're your friend. So, mm hmm. Um, I love the she with seven quotes on the IG page. It's popular. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, um, I, I'm glad someone started that page, too. It's, it's good. I always comment it every time I see it. I always comment on it. So thank y'all. Um, that's not my page, but uh, I, I do comment and, and uh, interact on that. I like that. Um, thank you, V. You are the most evolved Pisces lady I know. I always say, how dare you assume I should think less of myself when they call me cocky or arrogant. <laughs> That's good for you, V. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's exactly what you should say. Well, why don't you feel good about yourself? <laughs> I'm not stopping you. That's what you know. I should even tell people um, when they say you're too cocky. It's like, well, you ain't cocky enough. Honey bunny, Nikki's, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm going to do this I look tonight. Girl, go ahead, girl. My tutorial is on my beauty page, Ashira Star, if you need to see what colors I use. I use my I bring nothing to the table palette, eyeshadow palette. Um, <laughs> he made six figures and has an ex-wife and two kids. It's not worth it. Girl, they sucking up all that money. Good luck. Um, mm -hmm. you picked the wrong friend. Is it okay to start dealing, dating his rich friend? Um, um, 